Welcome everyone, Cliff from Advanced Diagnostics here. Today we're going to revisit a very recent subject, which is the Ford PCM system that you see that I have on the application guide. We're going to use Ford Focus as our example vehicle today. We're going to talk a little bit about the recent fix that is required sometimes because this is a somewhat of a quirky system. And when you erase the keys, even if you have the proper keys and no outstanding fault codes pointing towards a vehicle related issue, there are times when you just can't get the keys to cycle in manually because no matter what key programmer you own, once the keys are cleared, the vehicle is now in learn mode and you should disconnect, put your key programmer aside, and that's all that's needed because you're going to manually cycle in each key like you would in any other Ford that you've erased the keys on. Now, this system, unfortunately, sometimes the keys will not go in, in which case you will have to follow the advice that I gave in the last video, which is to do the add key one at a time to get the keys in. And in most instances on PCM, you're going to have to do add key twice. Now, we do know that works. That would not be the ideal fix because I do have a tip, but I need your help. This is an excellent tip that I got from Brad Barry, who was an excellent locksmith and a longtime beta tester. And he did an experiment the other day on an, on an O2 Ford Focus. He had erased the keys, ran it smack right into the problem of not being able to store keys manually. So what he did was he turned the first key not to the on position, but all the way to the run position. In other words, normally that would start the vehicle. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen because we have no keys stored in it. So he kept it in that position for 10 to 15 seconds. Then he turned it off. Then he cycled his keys manually. In other words, he turned that first key to the on position, got his solid light, took that key out, put it aside, put his second key in, turned it on, light went solid for a second or so as it should, and the light went out and he had a running vehicle. Now, normally with PCM, you have to wait a good 20 to 30 seconds before you even cycle in the keys. This was a great fix, uh, but we don't know if it's going to work all the time because Brad went back in and raced the keys in to see if he could replicate the issue. He didn't have a problem cycling in the keys again. They went right in. So whether this is going to work all the time, we don't know, but I'd like to pass it on to you. Get your feedback. If you run into this issue, please try Brad's fix. One more time, when once you've raised the keys, you can't get any keys to manually store in. The keys are the proper ones. No outstanding fault codes. Just simply turn that first key to the run position, 10 to 15 seconds. Turn it off and then manually cycle in each key as described previously, and you should have a running vehicle. All right, I hope this helps. I'll see you again. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.